Hi again, guys. I'm Trish Triampho Sullivan, and I'm going to talk to you again about some photography stuff. So this lecture is about your two main controls in the camera. So two main controls. It's not. It is a peace sign too. So peace, everybody. Peace out. But we're talking about the first two controls in your camera that are uh, vital to your success in this class. So you want to know them, and you want to know what they are. Um, so your two main controls. Um, of your to your camera that make an exposure are called um, and uh, they're called the aperture and the shutter now we talked about these two controls in the uh, parts of the camera, so you should have uh, seen seen where they're at normally in the camera, and we'll, we'll, of course, we're going to go over this again, but I want you to make sure that you take some notes on this. Um, these, are, these two controls, and what I'm going to tell you about them, are vital to the first three assignments in this class, so we want, want you to understand them and to be able to uh, go with it, right, so you, you can get used to using them and using the terms. Um, so... <clears throat> Um, these are, like I said, the aperture and the shutter are the two most important, the most basic controls and that you need to know how the techniques to use, uh, the techniques for them for success, to be successful as uh, in photography class. Um, and these guys have the best relationship. They have what we call a reciprocal relationship. Now, what is reciprocal? Anyone know what that means? A lot of times my students will tell me, oh, it's, uh, it's about give and take. It's about balancing things out. Um, it's about making things even. And those are all true. You know, reciprocal relationship is the best kind of relationship to have. Um, think about it like this. I have a friend um, and every, uh, Every day we go, every morning we go out for coffee together. Um, and you know, I always buy the coffee. Every morning we go out, I'm the one buying the coffee. And then there's something else about her, like I, um, I'm always the one that calls her, she never calls me. That's a real one-sided relationship, right? It's not even, it's not balanced. Um, so a, a, a really good relationship, of course, is reciprocal. You're giving and taking, you know. If if I had another friend, um, and you know, of course, she's the, the, the friend that I was always buying coffee for, like, you know, she's not really my friend anymore, right? So I went with a friend that, like, one morning I buy coffee, the next morning she buys coffee. The day after that I buy coffee again, the next morning she buys coffee. So it's even, it's balanced, right? We're giving, it's a give and a take. Um, and that's always the best kind of relationship to have. One-sided relationships are not usually successful, correct? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, it's a give and take. It's keeping things balanced. And the shutter and the aperture have this relationship. And what that means in photography is, is that if you, if to get a correct exposure, right, an exposure that's, that's, that's the correct exposure, not too bright, and not too dark, but just right, right in the middle, right? Um, to get that kind of exposure, uh, if you change one of these, when it's already set at the correct exposure, you need to change the other one to compensate, right? They're both, they're both controls that control the amount, you know, how much light ends up getting in the camera but they control them in two totally different ways, right? The first control, the aperture, and I'm gonna erase this reciprocal, um, but I want you to write something down. It's called the, the theory of reciprocity. Okay, 
this is what they call this relationship. It's the theory, it's a reciprocal relationship, but it's also the theory of reciprocity. And you'll see that mentioned in the book. You'll see it mentioned, you'll hear it mentioned, and now you know what it means. It means that's the relationship these two guys have, the aperture and the shutter. Okay. So let me, so make sure you're writing these things down. Um, these are kind of important concepts for the class here. Um, so let's talk about these two controls. Now remember the aperture is normally uh, located in the lens, inside the lens. It's a series of overlapping metal leaves, right? That or a diaphragm that can go very small, like a little pinhole, like tiny, tiny, up to a pretty good size opening. Um, I think of the aperture as a window. So the aperture is like the window. Okay, the shutter. And remember where the shutter is located. It's usually at the back of the camera, where they call the film plane. Right? And right in front of the media, whatever your image is being recorded on, um, is where the shutter sits. So the shutter is like a curtain. So it opens up to let light in and it closes. Right? So the film is sitting right behind it. So if I were to have a piece of film here, it would be, let me get a piece of paper here, whoops. Um, it would be behind the shutter, right? So the shutter would be here. Like my two hands might be the shutter, um, and then the film would be behind the shutter. Okay, so the shutter opens and closes, and it can open really slowly or it can open really quickly, right? So you can't even see it, it's so fast with your eyes. So we think of the shutter as a curtain. And you guys have heard of shutters before, like ever seen a house that actually has real shutters on it, it like shuts. They, they shut the uh, in front of the window and protect the window and, and block out light sometimes as well. So that's what a shutter does. It's similar to a curtain, right? It, it protects the window, blocks out light. Um, and that's what it does in the camera as well, right? It blocks out the light. It opens and closes when you press the shutter release button. That's what makes the exposure, right? The shutter opens, lets light in, closes, no more light, okay? Now, the size of this window can change. And so both of these control uh, quantities of light, like how much light goes in, but they control it in different ways. With the aperture, it's the size of the opening, right? So it could be all kinds, it could be a lot of uh, different sizes up to a pretty big one, right? Down to a little tiny pinhole that you can barely see. Um, and I'm just drawing some there just so you get an idea. So the window size can change. Now, if you have a little tiny pinhole, you're not gonna have a lot of light coming in, right? It's like a little tiny amount of light. If you have a great big window, you're gonna have a lot of light coming in, right? Now, the shutter, the curtain, is the speed, how fast it opens. So it's the amount of time that light comes into the camera, right? So if it's going really slowly, like if I wanted to say I had a one second exposure, let's just say that. Right, so the shutter is what is what does the timing for this exposure. So if it's a one second exposure, I could be saying that the shutter is 1001. That's a really slow exposure. It's a really long exposure. And um, it would let in a lot of light, right? Just like a big window would let in a lot of light. Um, so if you, so normally if you have a pretty big window, you wanna have a fast, a fast shutter speed to compensate for that amount of light. If it's really slow, you're depending on the lighting conditions, which we're going to talk about. Um, you might end up with a uh, uh, with an overexposure. You have too much light coming in. So this curtain um, is the um, is the amount the amount of time. What? So it's time based. All right, we're gonna, that doesn't look that great. Let's see if we can make this so you can actually read it. <laughs> so the amount of time. Um, so these guys work together in that reciprocal relationship um, that when, so, that let's, so let's say that um, I'm in a regular daylight condition and um, I want to have a, an aperture this size. I might have my curtain open, my window, right, this size. I might have my curtain open very slowly to compensate for that amount of light, right? 
if I had a little tiny, if I wanted to make my aperture very small, I might have my curtain open very slowly so I can balance off that light. So I'll get into more detail with that later, but let's just, let's just say that these two working together, the window and the curtain, okay, the window is quantity, the quantity of light, right, the quantity, and the curtain is the amount of time. And these guys get together to make an exposure. Right? An exposure is an image or a photograph. It's the same thing. When you have someone tell you that they're making an exposure, they're making a photograph or creating an image with their camera. That's it. It's really simple. Exposure sounds fancy, but that's all it means. Um, so if you change one uh, with your camera controls, you have to change the other to compensate, to make it balance equally. All right, so you want it to be balanced so you have that correct exposure. The, cor the correct exposure. Okay, so that's the basic of the aperture and the shutter. I'm gonna go, this is part one. I'll be back with part two just momentarily. See you in a few.